In this video we are going to study a master game in which white will easily refute the elephant gambit. The game started with the moves e4. e5. White played knight on f3, developing the king's knight and attacking the e5 pawn. Black played d5, the elephant gambit. White replied knight takes e5. Now, black played bishop d6, developing the king's bishop and attacking the opponent's knight. White played d4, occupying the center with his pawns and defending his knight. Black played d takes e4, regaining the pawn. White played bishop c4, developing the king's bishop to a good diagonal and threatening to capture the f7 pawn. Black captured the opponent's knight, to relieve the pressure. Now, white played queen h5, a good intermediate move. White threatens to checkmate on f7 and, at the same time, attacks the enemy bishop. With this move, white avoids a premature exchange of queens. Black replied queen f6, to avoid checkmate. White played d takes e5, regaining the piece and attacking the opponent's queen. Black played queen f5, with the idea of exchanging queens. After queen takes f5. Bishop takes f5. White played knight c3, developing his knight. The position is approximately balanced, but the white pieces are a little more active and soon white will have the advantage. The game continued with knight c6, developing the knight and attacking the e5 pawn. White played bishop f4, completing the development of his minor pieces and defending the e5 pawn. Black developed his king's knight on the e7 square, with the idea of bringing the knight to the g6 square, to increase the pressure on the e5 pawn. White castled on the queen side. Black played knight g6, attacking the f4 pawn and increasing the pressure on the e5 pawn. White played bishop g3 to defend his bishop. Black played knight g takes e5, capturing the opponent's central pawn and attacking the c4 bishop. White played bishop b5, to defend his bishop. Now, the knight on c6 is pinned and white threatens to capture the knight on e5, thereby winning a piece. Black played knight g4, to avoid the opponent's threat. White played knight d5, threatening to capture on c7. Black is having difficulty defending and white already has a big advantage. Black played rook c8. But this move achieves nothing. White played knight take c7 check. Black played rook take c7, giving up the exchange to try to defend. After bishop take c7. Black played knight takes f2, attacking both enemy rooks, with the idea of recovering the sacrificed material. Now, white played bishop take c6 check. After b take c6. White played rook d8 check. And after king e7. White played rook takes h8, capturing the enemy rook. The game continued knight takes h1. Bishop d8 check. King d7. Bishop h4, cutting off the enemy knight's retreat. Black's knight has been trapped and white has a decisive advantage. Black played e3, taking control of the f2 square, to try to rescue his knight. White played rook d8 check. After king e6. White played rook e8 check. And after king d5, black resigned the game without waiting for the reply, as white captured the e3 pawn and easily won. A very instructive game in which we saw how black easily refuted the elephant gambit.